So I got a question from a young man and he asks me, hey Kyle, what do I do? This girl ghosted me. We only been together for three weeks. So let's get into the, like, let's just get right into it. The real, let's get into the, the, the logical reason why this could have happened. So this girl could have been seeing somebody else and she could have been with this guy, another dude or, or whatever for, uh, you know, months, even years, maybe they had a, a, a rough spot, you know, where they needed some time apart. She started to see you and then she started hanging out with you and then everything started to, re, you know, get real good. And then out of nowhere, she decides to, you know, leave. And I know that sucks. And I know that sounds terrible, but that person could have already been with somebody else. Things got really good with you. She bounces. Okay. She could have heard from her ex. She could have heard from some guy that she was seeing months ago. There's a lot of different things that could have happened. And the real perspective shift that I want you to have, my young homie, is it doesn't really matter why they ghosted you. It doesn't matter why, really. Because at the end of the day, as a man... And any, any guys who, who have been around the block, who have been, who've had some life experience are going to know that there are people that just jump on your train and jump off of your train. People come and go. And the, the most important attitude and energy you can have about that is, I don't give a fuck. Because really think about it. If somebody wants off, if somebody wants out of your life, the more you try to control and keep them in there, the more they're gonna to wanna to run from you, the faster they're gonna to wanna to get away from you. So this girl ghosting you is a blessing in disguise because really what it's showing you is she doesn't wanna be around you or even tell you what's going on in her life. That is showing you her character. That is showing you everything you need to know about her. So if she comes back around, that's some that's a red flag or a note that you can make about her and say, look, do I really want a person like this? Because let's say it was an ex. Let's say it was someone coming back into her life and she never told you that he came back around. Now, I'm tr I'm going to put myself in her shoes for a minute here. That's what I do. Devil's advocate. She could have been dating some some other guy. She could have been broken up. Maybe she thought it was legit. Maybe she thought it was permanent. He reaches back out to her and says, hey, I miss you. That's what the power of time does, guys. Power of time makes you understand things and makes shows you what's important. And she could have been dating you. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to move on. I'm going to start dating a new guy and see what's going to happen. So she starts to see you. And then she's like, and she hears from her ex. And she's like, I miss him. You know, I'm just going to go back to him. Now, is it honorable for her to not tell you? No, she should have told you. You have to take everything that people do and just know that they're showing you. They don't even need to tell you. They just need to show you and she's showing you right now. She might come back around and it's up to you what you do. You can take her back or not. But the most important thing and the most the best perspective shift, again, and the energy you should have is I don't give a fuck because... When you focus on you and your goals and you have a more laid back attitude about the people around you and why they're choosing to be there, when you focus on making people around you feel wanted, loved, the how to win friends and influence people, that should be down below in the pinned comments. When you have that approach and that, that, that attitude about life and the people around you and you focus on your own goals... And when you focus on your goals, your confidence goes up because as a man, you feel like you're crushing life. You feel like you're providing for the people around you, maybe your parents or whatever it is that you're doing. And again, you're 19 years old. You're young. Now, I don't want to say to you, you're young and your experience in life doesn't matter because I remember feeling 19 fucking years old and people were like, yeah, like you're young. You'll figure it out. When I went through breakups, hard, long breakups, and I was, and they were like, you'll, you'll find other girls. Like that's the fucking advice I want to hear. No, when I went through this stuff and I used to think, I was thinking 10, 15 years in the future back then about what my life is going to look like and what I want it to look like. And I'm now putting that into fruition because I I dithered too long. I didn't get on my purpose and I didn't start putting the action steps necessary to get myself to here until I was 27. I started questioning things. I thought differently. So I want to let you know that the re like the, 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 
it's awesome that you're reaching out to me and, you, and you're actually willing to listen because I didn't listen to nobody. And I had to figure this all out for myself. And that's that was my fault and my own issue. And now I listen real close to the people around me that are trying to help me. And uh, some of them I hire. Some of them are like, hey, bro, do this. Check this out. That's what happened with mergers and acquisitions. People, some guy was like, hey, yo, uh, check that out. And that was it. And now I'm in. I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm learning so much. Focus on your money. Focus on your game. Focus on reading. Focus on investing into yourself. It's such a cliche saying, invest into yourself. But the only reason it's so cliche and so general because every human has a different thing that they need to invest themselves into, whether it's communication or maybe it's just finding your purpose. There's so many things. That's why that generalization is there. So what So what I would do is I would take the energy that you have every day, what, which is your focus, right? Take that and aim that into a direction that, that, that nurtures you. Watch what happens, bro. And then when you start... When you start attracting people to you, just keep the perspective and keep the energy of, okay, it's fine. Leave. Go ahead. I'll be here anyway. You're just going to be and you're going to keep watering your garden. You're going to keep improving yourself. And what's going to happen is you're going to start attracting people around you that don't want to leave, that want your attention all the time. It's going to happen like that. That's the way this, this life works. You create the world around you and you being 19 years old, what's going to happen is say you go down this path of, of your purpose and you really love what you do. You love what you do. You're going to attract people around you that love what they do in that same thing. And you guys are going to vibe about it. And then you're going to attract a woman around you that is into that same kind of thing. Um, you'll see gamers dating each other, like switch streamers start dating each other because one person will have a stream, this other girl comes in and she likes him and you know she starts streaming and blah, 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 right? So it happens. That's how life happens. So I would, I would even just take your focus away from why this girl doesn't want to talk to you because truthfully, you don't really know why because the why doesn't matter. She's showing it to you anyway. What, what you should do is take your energy on, focus it back on you even more. And then when you do that, you're going to start attracting people to you and people will want to be around you and people will want, to, will want your time. So young man, that's what you do. And uh, I, I, I really liked your, your, email, your Instagram DM. I really liked uh, how, how, I like how you got my attention. Let's just say that. So keep going and uh, much love for me to you and uh, you'll be all right. Every, so for everyone else, everything's down below. Uh, check the pinned comment and check the description box. And um, check out my other channel, Pr Practical Spirituality and Self-Improvement. That'll also be in the description box below. And the Attraction channel is almost done. I'll see you guys in the next one. Done.